My name is Kellen Collington. I go to Grove Middle School. I'm in seventh grade. I always knew that I was Cherokee because me and my mom would go to stomp dances and powwows and we would go to the stickball workshops and that was always really fun. I love being Cherokee. I love knowing who I am. I love that my mom is helps me and my grandma too. They help me learn my culture, study for the language and history bowls. And I just enjoy it so much because I because I want to teach other people like my peers how Cherokee, how important it is to know who you are and to be Cherokee. My mom and my uh, grandma because they both taught Cherokee and they're, um, my mom is really involved in like the Cherokee like stomp dances and stuff like that. Even whenever she was in college she jingle dressed and did uh, danced at, at the powwows and stomp dances and when I, whenever I was really little I would like dance a little bit. I've never learned how to like fully dance, but I want to learn. We planted Indian field pumpkins um, and jack lantern pumpkins and some big pumpkins over the summer. I know how to like preserve the pumpkins and stuff like that. It's really cool like seeing that my ancestors did like a long time ago and me doing that is pretty cool because I'm like, wow, like this actually what like somebody would do hundred years ago. I want to no. talk about like the seed bank and stuff, right. but I also want to talk about like the natural purposes. I do love science. My science class um, is my seventh hour class. I'm an honor science. My teacher is Miss Burleson. That's my favorite class of the day. I always look forward to it. Homemade insect repellent I made with the yarrow plant. Uh -huh. um, I made it by, I like I have a farm at my house, so we went out and picked it, and I ate it up to dry. So after it was dry, I put, um, I stripped all of the leaves and flowers off of the plant, and I put it in a jar. At the Cherokee Nation Science Fair, I had first place in my category, and I also got the Outstanding Scientist Award, and fifty dollars for first place for my project relating to Cherokee culture. At state, competing against kids from all from all over. I got third place in my category going up against eighth graders. At the um, NASIF, the National um, Native American Science Fair, I got the Native American Cultural Award. 4C, how do the events of the play support the statement? Another class is probably my third hour, which is my pre-AP literature class. It's my reading class. We read books and we have discussions about books and I just think that's really cool. <laughs> band last year in sixth grade. I play percussion and my favorite instrument to play is the bass drum because I like to keep on beat and I play, I play like nine different instruments in one concert. Kellen is a very hard worker involved in lots of different activities and is very kind and uh, courteous and always very respectful to those around her. To be in the honors uh, literature class, she had to have good uh, reading test scores from the previous year, good teacher recommendations, good attendance, and she had to complete a summer reading assignment. Kellen's also involved in student council. Um, as I mentioned, my daughter's in her class, so they do a lot of leadership roles together. They did a road trip, Trail of Tears thing, and that's what her summer reading assignment was over, so she was happy to share that with us, and she did a little video over it for the for the class, so it was pretty neat. She definitely made sure to include her Cherokee roots in her summer assignment, so it was neat to see because I hadn't had a student do that before. She is an excellent student. She always goes above and beyond in the classroom and out of the classroom, and just excels in everything she does. Just a wonderful kid. I mean, she just takes, I can, I can just give her just simple things and she just runs with it. I don't have to explain much. I mean, she just takes control. And even there's times, you know, that I'm just like frustrated and she's just like, I got it. I, you just sit down, I've got it. And so she just kind of takes, takes the wheel actually. And she can lead that whole entire class. I wouldn't have to do anything. I want to be a second grade teacher. I want to go to NSU because I love spending time with like my little cousins and stuff and I like sh showing people 
new things. And so I think that a teacher would be a really good fit for me. I've wanted to be a teacher for forever. After I teach second grade, I also want to become a Cherokee teacher. Like I maybe want to teach Cherokee to the little kids too. I want to show the kids what, that they, what they can accomplish if they know who they are and that just helps them get to a new level.